Getting us a quick update on wheat prices. But with that, let's move on and talk about Maruti Suzuki. It is one of the top gainers on the Nifty today, up around 2%. This after a strong set of Q2 earnings as well as strong management commentary. Brokerages have also gone ahead and raised their target prices on the stock. Now, uh, let's uh, actually get you a conversation that my colleague Parikshit had with R.C. Bhargava, who's chairman of Maruti Suzuki, on where they see growth heading from here. So let's listen into that chat. It's not fully behind us yet. There's still problems on some of the vehicles. And uh, we expect this problem to continue for at okay. least another two months. Mm. So we have really not been able to produce uh, as much as we needed to produce, as much as the demand was there. That's why the back orders have gone up. Mm. And uh, there is scope for improvement. Right. Um, also, to ask you about uh, the growth of the automotive industry, you expect the automotive industry to grow at 8% uh, in the next fiscal. You said yes, that I... we're looking at record volumes for the auto industry. Will Maruti Suzuki's growth be in line with industry? We will attempt to do that, yes. Hmm. But uh, we also see... Uh, some pressure, some continued pressure when it comes to the entry-level segment. Will right. that be a challenge uh, when it comes to meeting the industry growth rate? We have taken that into account when uh, we have made our projections for the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Bhargav, now coming to uh, volumes of entry-level cars, give us a sense as to on a quarter basis, how, how have they been impacted and uh, how, how do sales for the entry-level cars, the bread-and-butter segment for Maruti, look like? The entry-level segment uh, in this quarter, too, has shown a growth. Mm. It's the first time it's shown a growth after many quarters. Mm. But I think this is the result of uh, the festival season and the fact that uh, whatever people could manage, they came out and bought now. Mm. We do not expect that this quarter two growth in you know, as we go ahead uh, this year. So, uh, I and just... uh, you know, over the last three years, this segment has declined by something close to 30% now. Hmm. So, I'll just uh, take that again. You're saying that you do not expect the festive season growth for the entry level segment to continue? That's right. Right. Uh, also, to, to what extent are you going to? repurpose or redefine your strategy going ahead. Maruti has launched the new Brezza. You've got the Vitara. Uh, you've got at least two more SUVs which are going to uh, come out to be rolled out in the next few months. How yeah. soon or how fast will Maruti Suzuki uh, be able to redefine its product strategy? Well, th this is what we're doing. They're putting all these new SUVs and things is really what we're trying to do to redefine our strategy. Hmm. Our composition of vehicles is changing. Mm. Instead of having 70, 75% vehicles in the hatches, this percentage is going to drop as we go along and more production takes place of all these vehicles that we just talked about. Mm. The percentage of uh, these cars will increase and the hatchbacks and the entry level vehicles will drop. Uh, in your estimate by 2025, uh, what will be the estimate of uh, small cars in uh, Maruti Suzuki's product portfolio? I haven't made an estimate till 2025. We don't know what the conditions will be till then. Right. Uh, you've spoken about the Auto Expo, uh, Mr. Bhargav. Yeah. If, if we were to uh, request you for some sort of number, some sort of sense uh, as to the SUV roadmap for the remaining part of this fiscal and the next two years, how many product offerings could uh, come from Maruti Suzuki when it comes to the SUV segment? I don't think we ever give uh, any specific indication of uh, the numbers of products or the types of products. Mm. All I can say is that we will continue to make whatever entry, entries they are required to be made in this segment to make sure that we can fully utilize our production capacity, meet the customer's needs, sell what we can produce. Mm -hmm. Because there's no point uh, having production capacity of vehicles which we cannot sell because the customer has gone away from that segment. All right, that is uh, the